everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I know I said I was going to do Briarfest haul a long time ago, but I ended up coming down with a really bad cold and it took a lot longer for me to recover from it. But we're here now, we're doing it. Now, I am currently in my basement because um, I keep all my briars in my basement and I didn't feel like carrying them all up to my room. So let's get started. I'm going to be doing this in chronological order and explaining a little story behind everything. So, the very first model that I got at Briarfest was not the Celebration model, Sergeant Reckless. Um, we were gonna get Oliver, the Celebration model for this year, but the line for him was around the block. So we decided, all right, let's go in, let's watch the opening ceremony, and then we'll do a little shopping, and then at the end of the day, we'll get Oliver. So, we went shopping and I found this Sergeant Reckless and the reason why he is the only model still in box, excuse me, she's the only model still in box because I got her along with a book signed because the author of the Sergeant Reckless book um, was at Briarfest so I got the book is upstairs in my room so I got the book and Sergeant Reckless signed. Now I would like to get a, another Sergeant Reckless that isn't signed so I can have one Reckless out of the box. And I also visited the Sergeant Reckless Memorial at Briar, I mean, at the Kentucky Horse Park. It was really, really cool. So the next, still not the celebration model, one more model that I've been wanting since the beginning, since I started collecting Briars was Carlton Lima Emma. I love this pony, first of all, because my name is Emma. So, and second of all, a little backstory behind her that she's the queen's favorite pony. Now, the queen has multiple ponies. She's a part of the Fell Pony Association. And the bre I think it's the breeder of the trainer's name is Carlton Lima. So all the horses, all the Fell ponies are Carlton Lima blank. And this is the queen's favorite pony. So Briar made a model of her. She's part of the Best of British collection. And the third reason why I love her is you can't really see, but look at that mane. It's so beautifully sculpted, ah, so gorgeous. She's just, she's beautiful. This is my first solid color model. Yeah, my first solid color model. Then, now we have Mr. Oliver. We got him later on in the day where there was no line, so it was um, really nice. And this horse holds a very special place in my heart. Um, because first of all, I have a dog named Oliver, and I thought, oh, that's really cool. Second of all, my dog Oliver is black and white. And third, um, this is one of my favorite molds. I love this mold. So I was really excited to see that he was going to be our freebie. And I waited in line, and I got him signed by... It's probably gonna be reversed on screen, but I got him signed by um, his um, by his writer, and um, it has the little Briarfest 2019 logo on it. And I'm just gonna say, I'm so happy for Oliver right now because Briarfest is over. I felt so bad for him. One time, me and my mom, she's the person that I went with, we were passing the police barn we were gonna go look at the breeder's barn and Oliver was walking into the barn. Him and his rider were walking into the barn and there's a crowd of about 20 people following this horse into the barn. I felt so bad for him. They put cones up in front of his stall so people wanna get right up to his stall. And I met him on Sunday, which was the last day of Briarfest. So when I met him, he was asleep. He's standing there like this and we're just like, I was like, I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to stand here, get the picture, and get out so Oliver can go to bed. I felt so bad for him, but now he's finally back home. And I got one more thing to show you. Let me go get it. All right, and we're back. I got, along with Oliver, I got a little card when I got him signed. And they were giving these out. It just has, like, the police horses and some of their back story. So then this is another... um card that I got. I actually got this one signed. This horse's name is Albion and he is 17.2 hands high. 
oh my gosh, this horse was huge. So here he is in his rider, and I got this one signed. But oh my gosh, that horse is humongous. So moving on, next I have my special run model. I want everyone to meet Natasha. Now, I love this mold. I love this mold. I love the Weather Girl mold. I I love it so much. So when it was, I had my special run on Friday. So we got to, I stayed with him. I went to Briar Fest with one of my really good friends who got me into Briars. And we were looking on, and we went on Thursday. We both stayed in an apartment. It was an Airbnb. And then, um, we were looking at some of the special runs, and I was just like, oh, Rocket's really pretty, and Diana's really pretty, but then I saw Natasha, and I'm just like, I'm getting Natasha. I love her. She's so beautiful. I love Arabians so much. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. I love Arabians. And because she's a special run, she also has the little Briar Fest 2019 30th anniversary, so this one's special. And she's just so pretty. She's got an amazing coat, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Now, I did not have the Weather Girl in mold before. I only had four horses before, which is Little Ricky Rocker, Big Checks of Cash, Woodland Splendor, and then the Full Sweet Pea. If you keep wondering why I'm looking over there, it's because up there on a shelf, high up, where nobody can get to them, is where I keep my briars. So, yeah, I also met Little Ricky Rocker greatest day of my life i love little ricky rocker so much i y'all you guys don't even know how much i love him so when i met him i also got a photo of him sleeping because when we passed by um aka i wanted to go see him so um he was sleeping and i'm just like i have to get a photo of this and the next horse is natasha just fell i'm sorry stand up there we go now the next horse is very very special and hold on i'm gonna go put my pizza in the oven i hear the thing ringing all right so i got my pizza in the oven and so this horse is very very special he was one of these store specials so everyone i'd like you to meet zipped in black magic i also got him signed and i got a picture of him it says to Emma, thanks, Zip, Zip and Billy. Billy was the one, uh, one of the people who brought him here. Now, Zip has a very, very special story. Now, Zip originally had a show life, but then he went blind. So, um, after he went blind, his owners decided to donate him to a foundation called All Riders Up, and it focuses on um, horse therapy with kids that have disabilities so they it, it said on the back of his box um in training when they were training him they put a life-size elmo doll on him so he could get used to the feel of having a kid on his back without actually having a kid on his back so i love appaloosas so much sorry i thought i heard something i love appaloosas so Oh, it's just the birds. I'm just like, I'm hearing it again. I live in the middle of the forest. So, um, I love Appaloosas so much. One, my favorite coat. So, when I saw him, I'm just like, I'm getting him. Without a doubt. I have to get him. And he's got such a cute face. Look at that little face. Also, he's in Ricky's mold, which I gotta take him. So, he's so gorgeous. And he actually had one of his eyes removed. So, but they made this before that happened, so he still has both his eyes. I don't, I don't know. Do you guys know if Briar has a model that has only one eye? I'm not sure. And then next, we have my final model of our Briar Fest haul. I did not get any tack or anything this year. California Chrome. Now, this is a freebie blanket that they were giving out. I thought it was really cute. I'll take it off him, but it does look really nice with his chestnut color. So here is California Chrome. I love this mold so much. This is um, in the same mold as Sam. I think, yeah, he's another racehorse. No, 
cross country horse. Look at this coat. It's this beautiful chestnut. Oh, I love it. He's got four stocks and he was a racehorse. He's a $14 million horse and um, he, $14 million horse and he won the Kentucky Derby. So I love him. He's, I've, I, when I was scrolling through the Briar website, I saw this model for the first time and I'm just like, I have to get that model. And I got him. So that's really special. And then this is just the little freebie blanket that they were giving out. It's just this cute little simple, no la class for anything, it's Velcro, but this cute little checkered blanket and it's really pretty, it's really cute and I really, really, really like it. So, I have one last model. I know I said California Chrome was, but meet Raven. At There's a paint booth where you can paint your own little mini models, the little stable mates, and I got this Mustang. So I'm just like, all right, I have to create something good out of this. And I was at Briarfest when the season three of Free Rain came out. So I'm just like, I'll make Raven. So if you don't know what Free Rain is, it's a horse show on Netflix and Raven is the main character's horse. Now I highly suggest that show, it's really good. So I made a little Raven, his little star and the little tummy C. So there's Raven. <laughs> then on the way home, me and my mom and my camera is glitching out. Me, my mom and my other friend, we went to Churchill Downs. And I got two things from Churchill Downs. I got this photo of California Chrome. It's really pretty. The glare is awful. I am so sorry. There's California Chrome. And then I got one of Barbaro. Now the story of Barbaro is he was the Kentucky Derby winner from when I was born, 2006. Now, Barbaro had a lot of health problems, mainly with his legs but he still won the Kentucky Derby and he passed away at four. He has a memorial right outside of Churchill Downs, right outside the museum, and it's really pretty. I have some photos of it. I think I put them in my vlog and if I didn't, I'm gonna be sad. But there is my Briarfest haul. I hope it was really fun. Briarfest was so much fun. And if you're wondering, the theme for next year is Celtic. So I'm Scottish and Irish, so. I might have to convince my mom to let me go. <laughs> so I'll see y'all later. Bye.